He is known for his contributions in the field of philosophy and astronomy. He is recognized for his introduction of concentric spheres and his work on proportions. His name is Eudoxus of Nidus. In the ancient city of Nidus, nestled on the southwest coast of Asia Minor, a brilliant mind was born. Eudoxus, whose name meant, honored or, of good repute, would go on to leave an indelible mark on the world of astronomy and mathematics. Raised by his stargazing father, Eudoxus developed a fascination with the celestial bodies that adorned the night sky. At the age of 23, Eudoxus embarked on a journey to Athens in search of knowledge. Along the way, he studied mathematics with Archytas in Tarentum and medicine with Philiston in Sicily. In Athens, he immersed himself in the teachings of the great philosophers, including Plato. Despite his financial struggles, Eudoxus made a daily pilgrimage of seven miles from his humble abode in Piraeus to attend Plato's lectures. Driven by his insatiable thirst for knowledge, Eudoxus ventured to Heliopolis, Egypt, where he delved deeper into the study of astronomy and mathematics. After spending 16 months there, he continued his travels, gathering students and sharing his wisdom along the way. Eventually, Eudoxus returned to Athens, assuming the headship of the academy in teaching a young Aristotle. But Eudoxus's journey didn't end there. He returned to his hometown of Nidus, where he built an observatory and dedicated himself to writing and lecturing on theology, astronomy, and meteorology. His most significant contribution was his introduction of the concentric spheres, which revolutionized mathematical astronomy. Through his work, Eudoxus provided early insights into the movement of the planets, leaving a lasting impact on our understanding of the cosmos. Eudoxus's pioneering work on proportions also showcased his profound understanding of real numbers. His insights allowed for a rigorous treatment of continuous quantities, inspiring future generations of mathematicians, including Richard Dedekind. Even in modern times, Eudoxus's name lives on, with craters on Mars and the Moon paying homage to his contributions. His legacy is also immortalized through an algebraic curve named after him. Eudoxus of Nidus, the esteemed philosopher and mathematician, forever altered our perception of the universe and laid the foundation for scientific progress. His relentless pursuit of knowledge and unwavering dedication to his craft will continue to inspire generations to come. Eudoxus, the renowned mathematician of ancient Greece, was known as the greatest mathematician of his time, second only to Archimedes. His contributions to mathematics were profound, particularly in the field of geometry. Eudoxus rigorously developed the method of exhaustion, which laid the groundwork for the integral calculus that Archimedes would later masterfully employ. Through this method, Eudoxus proved various mathematical statements, such as the relationships between areas of circles and the squares of their radii, and volumes of spheres and the cubes of their radii. His work extended to the volume of pyramids and cones as well. One of Eudoxus's most significant contributions was his introduction of the concept of non-quantified mathematical magnitude. This allowed him to describe and work with continuous geometrical entities, such as lines, angles, areas, and volumes, without relying on irrational numbers. This departure from the Pythagorean emphasis on numbers and arithmetic marked a turning point in the development of rigorous mathematics. Some Pythagoreans, including Eudoxus's teacher Archytas, believed that only arithmetic could serve as a basis for proofs. However, Eudoxus's need to understand and operate with incommensurable quantities led him to establish a deductive organization of mathematics based on explicit axioms. Eudoxus's shift in focus sparked a divide in mathematics that endured for 2000 years. Combined with the Greek intellectual attitude that was unconcerned with practical problems, this led to a retreat from the advancement of techniques in arithmetic and algebra. Nonetheless, Eudoxus's work restored confidence in the use of proportionalities, providing a remarkable definition for the equality between two ratios. This definition of proportion formed the basis of Euclid's Book V, a significant achievement in mathematical discourse. Eudoxus's definition of proportionality was intricate and relied on comparing similar quantities. It transcended the need for a common unit of measurement, allowing him to handle infinite and infinitesimal quantities. This innovation was reminiscent of Euclid's fifth postulate concerning parallels, which was more extensive and complex than the other postulates. Eudoxus's definition employed the quantifier, for every, resembling modern epsilon-delta definitions of limit and continuity. In conclusion, Eudoxus's philosophy and contributions to mathematics revolutionized the field, particularly in the realm of geometry. His introduction of non-quantified mathematical magnitude and restoration of confidence in proportionalities laid the foundation for future mathematical advancements. Eudoxus's work continues to be revered and appreciated today, as it guides us in understanding and dealing with the complexities of mathematics in our daily lives. In ancient Greece, astronomy was not just a study of the stars and celestial bodies, it was a branch of mathematics. 
The ancient astronomers, like Eudoxus of Nidus, sought to create geometrical models that could imitate the appearances of celestial motions. Eudoxus was a remarkable philosopher and mathematician who made significant contributions to the field of astronomy. Eudoxus had a deep fascination with the heavens and spent countless hours observing the stars. He believed that by understanding the movements of the celestial bodies, he could unlock the secrets of the universe. Eudoxus's astronomical work was not just about observation, it was about creating mathematical models that could accurately predict the motions of the planets and stars. One of Eudoxus's most well-known works was called, Phenomena. This text served as the basis for a poem of the same name by Aratus. Eudoxus's prose was so influential that even Hipparchus, another renowned astronomer, quoted from it in his own commentary on Aratus. Eudoxus's dedication to understanding the cosmos has had a lasting impact on our understanding of astronomy. His mathematical models paved the way for future astronomers to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Today, we continue to build upon the foundation laid by Eudoxus, using advanced technology and mathematical calculations to explore the vastness of space. Eudoxus's philosophy of astronomy teaches us the importance of observation and mathematical reasoning. It reminds us that there is a harmony and order to the universe, even in its most complex and seemingly chaotic aspects. By studying the motions of the celestial bodies, we can gain a greater understanding of the world around us and our place within it. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.